Bro, just, congratulations. Thanks, man. You've made it. I've made it. <laughs> well, a strike is like luck. Oh, oh we're God, going yeah, yeah, there, 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 The are, bowling community's again. coming no, after no, you. No, no. You know what? I take it back. I take it back. Jesus Christ, I'm out of snooker spacks in my DMs that were like, you don't are you trying to say Ronnie Coleman's fucking on? No! I didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> Sorry! Lightweight, baby! <laughs> I'm gonna start doing that. Breathing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, don't you dare clip us, one of you. You did it so dirty that last time with that clip. I was sitting there in my bed sweating. <laughs> and if that doesn't sell you, I don't know what will. Yeah, listen, I'm not in sales. I'm a nonce. <laughs> That's Guys, welcome to the podcast. What episode is this going to be? 52. 52. It'll be out in 2027. <laughs> we're bank recording. The boys are banking. Uh, but we've got plenty to talk about. Oh, so much tales. So much tales. It'll be old news by the time you hear it. <laughs> Do you remember planking? <laughs> Episode fifty two. Here we go. Uh, we'll start off. Uh, we'll get the. We'll get straight into it. Go ahead. I'm a nonce, right? Yeah, and I learned this uh, after someone sent me this piece of graffiti. Can you see that? Someone said I forget exactly what they said. This was like the apple greens, you know, southbound from somewhere. It's probably the Lesburn one. <laughs> but someone has been taking a shit, <laughs> and they've decided. Uh, all right, Colin Geddes. Now, I think this looks like a, a child who's trying to ruin my career. Yeah. Hold on a second. Is that your writing? No. <laughs> it is very similar to my writing, but that's not my writing. They've called me a nonce there, and then they've scored out the S, and then put a C in to correct themselves. So, listen, they're trying to take me down. I think that could have been two parties. I think the person probably left it misspelled, and then someone came over and auto-corrected them. Because I do believe that's a different... Pen? No? Well, it's hard to tell from there. It says the black pen. But, uh, and then it's some script, IRA, and then it says, I love fat bitches up the side. That was you! <laughs> <laughs> that was you! And Fuck the, my missus as I watch. It's <laughs> my new metal band. Do a promo for them. Licking bags. KKK, and then the Oh, and then come the on word. now, boys. You can't be taking a shite and then bringing a bed when you're writing that. I know. But it's funny to think that you need that out of your body when you're dumping. Yeah. <laughs> KKK, N word. Why would it said kick? KKK. Ku Klux, Klux Clown. I thought it said kick and then insert racial, sir. Nah, nah. Suck your ma. <laughs> uh, come to Dungannon. I'll no. beat the fuck in it, eh? Yeah. You couldn't beat your shadow, son. I mean, they're, they're having back and forth rise here. Uh, but yeah, it says Colin Geddes nonce there with an S. People, people oh, are just congratulations. Thanks, man. You've made it. I've made it. What next? You get, you get to the point of fucking shitter graffiti, you're doing something right. Aye. I would have preferred to go a slightly different way than that, but... No, it's a start. You know? <laughs> yeah. Nonce. One, one toilet, you're a nonce. One toilet, you're a hero. Yeah. You know? So it goes. Yeah. Um, I, just, I, can't, I just can't imagine what circumstances... <laughs> We're, ha we're happening where someone was number one having a shite number two had a pen with them and thought I'll write something <laughs> and what sprung to mind was Colin Gattis nonce it's a good read it's a good read yep who sent you this just someone was having a shite and was like oh mate look at this I should I should go back and see who sent me because now I'm like was it you you motherfucker you know was it, was it the guy he's like oh my god look what someone's written perfect crime perfect crime you know, Sandy be like, oh, look at this. And it was actually you. He's tightening on himself. Motherfucker. So there you go. I'll have every every trucker having a dump, <laughs> eating a Greg's <laughs> on the way to Dublin is going to be like, you just call and get us, fella. Nuts. <laughs> and I'll be there with the fucking, the butt. <laughs> the dammers on. Ah, uh, yeah, they're not doing any favors, to be fair. You know. <sighs> no, you'd be, you'd be a very surprising pedophile if it makes you feel any better. Yeah. You'd be a dark horse in the pedo ring. <laughs> Jinx so? Yeah. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. You would be. Yeah. Plus your dad. You don't see a lot of dad nonces. Oh, there's plenty. Really? Oh, yeah. Dad nonces. Yeah. 
There's plenty. So you see a child be born, you experience the gift of. I don't you know. know. I don't know what the stat- statistic is, but most most people who are, who are nonced upon, it's someone in their family. Oh God. <laughs> We've got off to a good start today. God, fifty two. We're going on with non statistics. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Anyway, but uh, I just thought I would tell you that uh, this might be the last episode before I go to prison after the Netflix documentary. <laughs> I never... The big monster bug. I, I never thought I was announced till I was informed by a piece of graffiti in a Elvagrade's toilet that he was, in fact, announced. And then I looked at the glasses and I put two and two together. Yeah. Mijo. Mijo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe it was me all right? <laughs> Who takes a pen for a shake, anyway? That's what I like to know. It is. I mean, it's... I've never, I've never uh, had a pen on me when I'm taking a shade, you know. No, I maybe have, but it maybe hasn't been anything to write close by. But yeah, there's some bastard out there shit, <laughs> shitting on my good name <laughs> and shitting at the same time. Yeah, shitting, literally shitting on my. Now, just to take the edge off me, uh, there's a lady here, student standing. We're starting off with all the news. Uh, student standing for election sparks giggles because of her unusual name. Do you want to guess her name? Gumsha. Tuna c- There's no way. <laughs> Tuna c- is bidding to be president of our students' union. <laughs> I would love to know her sort of, you know, her ethnicity or her uh, her background because in what country could you call a child Tuna c- Tuna c- what? Well, Tuna c- You don't even have to beep this now because it's her name. <laughs> it's not me saying a bad word. Her name is Tuna c- Tuna c- uh, <laughs> I can I can play an instrument no more, but I can't tune it. <laughs> Save me life. Oh, we have two last night. Tune it. <laughs> tune it for president. <laughs> That's great. <coughs> it look as two words, you know, graphics wise. Great name. Boom. But it's probably like tuna. Tuna. Yeah. Something. Tuna. Yeah, she better. She, she, she better not go on placement in Belfast. Tuna. tuna have you met my mate, Tuna? <laughs> tuna, the vice president, bucket of blur. <laughs> tuna, the fellas name be like fucking. <laughs> be like, I can't even think of the male equivalent. Be like fucking. Salmon, cock. Yeah. Well, and her vice president, Nobby Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> that's why that's so unfortunate do you want to hear what she's providing Go Impro- ahead. improving student spaces better academic support improving students union equality diversity inclusion man she got it on lock yeah for president <laughs> incredible tuna anyway welcome to the bomb squad podcast oh, was great. Uh, if you if uh, you like listening to podcasts if you like listening to this podcast and you want to listen to twice the amount go to patreon.com forward slash bomb squad pod yeah. It's as simple as that. Yeah, if you listen to 52 of these and you think, fuck, I'd love another 52 of these. Oh, you don't, you don't, they're right there. Yeah, they're... What, what's the... What's what's the... I oh, fucked it up. What's the more cowboy bell thing? Cowboy bell? What? What is it? What's the line Christopher Walken says? Needs more cowboy. Yeah. But what does he say about the prescription or something? Oh, yeah. What does he say? I got a prescription. <laughs> yeah. Needs more cowboy. Yeah. What he said. Cut that in. More cowboy. Uh... <laughs> And if that doesn't sell you, I don't know what will. Yeah, listen, I'm not in sales. I'm a nonce. <laughs> no, you fucked yourself. That's going to be clipped now and put everywhere. <laughs> that's, that's, man, there's AI. Like, you're, 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 you make who, it too easy for them. Who needs AI when they'll just say it? <laughs> oh, no, I'm not a nonce. I enjoy a bit of tuna. Uh, anyway. <laughs> We're on tour as well. Nance is on yes. tour. <laughs> oh, don't bag me in this. No. no if I'm going down and bringing you with me, <laughs> Team Nance is hitting up all the spots. The Nance squad. Nance squad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus wept the night. The boys are hitting up Derry on the 11th of April. Jesus. Nice. Uh, well, the boys are hitting up Belfast on the 27th of April. Holy fuck. Nice. Sorry, so loud. Sorry. Not a seat left. Couldn't, Sorry. couldn't turn a sweet in your mouth in that Sorry, place. <laughs> nice. Thirtieth uh, of April, Monkey Barrel, mm. Edinburgh. Monkey Barrel Comedy, Edinburgh. 
Monkey Ball Comedy by Christ. Uh, <laughs> Wednesday the 1st of May, the Glee Club, Glasgow. We're also, we've added a date. Yep. On the 29th, yes? Yeah. Is that right? The 29th at also the Glee Club, Glasgow. <laughs> and a big cough like that. Nice. Fair play, is Glasgow, you really came free for that. Yeah. Uh, Friday the 10th of May, Liberty Hall Theatre, Dublin. Mm -hmm. That's on its way too. That'll sell out. Uh, they're gone. <clears throat> Uh, what else we got there? Uh, Thursday the 16th of May, Les Chesterson Shire Square, London. Oh, yes. Uh, Friday the 17th of May, Hot Water Comedy Club, Liverpool. Flat out. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, and finally, the 18th of May, New Century Hall, Manchester. <coughs> uh, so get your tickets to that. We've only about 500 of them to sell. Great stuff. <laughs> yeah, tell friends. Bring them around. Right. What Nancy material have we to get through today? Oh, I'm a darts champion. That's right, I've seen I'm that. I'm a dance. I'm a darts champion. Did I not call that? I called that last Someone week. Someone else said they called it too. Yeah. Dino from Shine was like, called it. Yeah. Called it. <laughs> well, I thought you were a dark horse and you were doing that cute thing. No. I'm not a darts guy. I don't know whether... Well, I don't know. Some some of the darts were nice, you know? Some of them were just absolute. But then, you know, I don't watch any darts, but I've seen a clip of... What was his name? Luke Littler. Mm. You know, and he's playing some German fella. And, the, you know, he... Your man Littler was just fully taking the piss, like. And then the other German fellow was throwing shots like I was doing, where you go like 20, 21, 41. And I was like, that, I was like, that's the sort of darts I'd be throwing. Oh, like, here. Some of them are getting in that 20. But I, I, what did I get? The best I got was like two 20s and a triple 20. Nice. Oh. 140. You were studying, bro. You were a student of the game. I, I, listen, I planned to. I bought the six darts. <laughs> I was. Uh, yeah, I was taking both goes at one time, but yeah. it was like, I was planning on actually practicing, yeah. and then before I knew it, it was like the day before, and I was like, oh, fuck, here we go. Bye, I bye. could have easily have seen you, like, you know, getting really serious for it, by a Carhartt dartboard. <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> camo, for the car darts. Camo darts. Well, actually, uh, I had these, I had these uh, almost like all white darts, and McKegney was like, they're pretty fucking sick, dude. And he goes, are they customized? And I and I had the check, I was like, did I? I was like, no, nah, it he thought it said like general banter on them or something. I was yeah. like, nah. And I goes, it actually says red dragon. And he's sitting there with the fucking, the mullet and the vi pit vipers. And he goes, man, that is pretty fucking sick still. Like red dragon. <laughs> man, that's pretty, fucking, pretty sick, dude. Uh, and, <laughs> but yeah, I was just, I don't know. I just, I was, uh, you know, everyone was there to party and I, I was there to play. I think. Yeah, you weren't fucking about it. I think I was, and everyone was like, da, 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 da. and I was there like fucking AirPods in, <sighs> you know, going zen. Thunk. Yeah. You channeled your little. Thunk, thunk. So me and Dave had a bit of a back and forth in our opening match. Once again, I, I like I won that match. I don't know how. I was just throwing darts till someone went, "That's you've won now," and I went, "Good, told you." And then I had Diona in the next round, wiped the floor with her. I don't even. She must have thrown three darts. Two of them hit the wall, <laughs> and then she went to go again. I was like, "I've won. I've won already." So the competition wasn't stiff, but you still came through. Yeah, and then I played Casey in the last one. Oh, and I once again didn't. Clash of Titans. I think I ran. Out, I think I ran out of time. I think they, you know, they're they're looking to put the club on at like half nine. Mm -hmm. So they kept playing the countdown theme tune, mm -hmm. dun, 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 dun. and then I was just closest to the top, closest to, you know, the end, bringing nice. it down to one or whatever. Nice. And they were just like, "You've won." Three W's on the board. By this stage, everybody was had come back on the stage, and they were just singing along the songs, and I was still, I was still in the zone, bro. Yeah, boring. <laughs> <laughs> I was, yeah. hitting, I was hitting absolute gems and no one even would react. I'm surprised you didn't leave when everyone started singing. It was bad. It was pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 Andrew, Andrew Ryan was there and quietly to myself I was thinking, man, you have a career in radio. <laughs> take, someone take him away. I could easily see you him taking a, your trophy and going him home. Him and Butler were doing like, a ro like a, this roast thing back and forward and it was getting out of hand. Man. Like it was getting too much? I was getting like, personal. They were getting digs in? What was getting digs? Oh, can I, I don't even know if I could say them on here. Really? I wouldn't want to say someone's private business out like that. <laughs> private business being exposed to oh, darts? Da deep cuts. It's like dirty game. Yeah, dirty blow blows. I don't like that. But I don't think Andy Ryan remembers any of it. Was he blocked? Oh, why? He was off the Shandies? Well, he, he, he was watching the rugby beforehand. You know what he's like? He's a very precise guy. Yeah. I'm having six pints. Hmm. He's turned up trashed. Yeah. And then everyone got the, the jokey, like tops on you know connor the hot box keys he had a big yellow top everyone had a different color 
Mine was just black and sexy. Were these bought for you or did you yeah. get them yourselves? No, Sean organized them to be made. That's very with nice. With all different fonts and all. They're pretty cool. That's good. But everyone was the kind of wacky one. Then I put mine on. I was like, what am I fucking, <laughs> am I Artie Surveyor here? Number eight for the All Blacks? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it's all fun and games, tough. I actually just like yoked. Yeah. <laughs> Till that dart shirt comes on. <laughs> <laughs> the buyers online. <laughs> that was great. It was great. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, everyone else was definitely fucking about. And I was like, no, nah, we're here to collect that gold. I don't think there's a competition that you could do that you wouldn't take serious. If they were like, they're doing comedy. I could see it too. They're doing comedian tiddlywinks in the fucking Ulster <laughs> Hall, sold out in two, 20 minutes. You'd be like, fuck us. I'm studying Japanese tiddlywink players. You'd be on it like. What is that? I don't know. I wasn't trying to be. But if it was being really competitive, we would practice like mad. Yeah. I probably threw a, a, a like an accumulation of maybe like a hundred darts on the week running up. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Yeah. No, I could see I could just... Do you think I, would take, I wouldn't be able to have a laugh at any of them? No, you're competitive edge too much. Really? Yeah, you're a competitive guy. They're talking, they're talking about doing bowling next. Oh, God, nah. You'd be, big, you'd be fucking... You'd be walking up like the Big Lebowski. <laughs> <laughs> you'd be fucking white Russian dog throwing them balls mean, down. You'd be doing tricks with it. Jesus, I'd be fucking <laughs> licking the ball. <laughs> That'd be so cool. Oh, yeah. Comedians bowling? No, stop. Yes, it has to stop. So now. Good. Would, <laughs> it has I, to stop. That'd be, That'd be so good. Please stop it. Can we just tell the dick jokes? I know, that's it, that's it. I don't know what, what's next. Comedians golf live in Portrush. Fucking right. 2,000 tickets, yeah. gone. Comedians basketball. The ideas are getting so crazy that the production, like the tickets don't even pay for the production. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you need like fucking Sky Sports there. Yeah. To cover fucking, I don't know, the bowling. Yeah. But imagine uh, Bomb Squad bowling shirts. Like 10 out 10. I take the shirt. But you know what we're gonna do? Rock up, leave. Rock, <laughs> leave. <laughs> rock up the bronze wagon, fucking. You can get a VIP table. You get your own drink and all. I'd win that too. That's what. That's the way my mind is. Like just, I'd be taking that bowling gold home as well. Immediate confidence. Yeah. I know, but we went to fucking secondary school trip to Brunswick one time, and I was nasty. <laughs> nasty. What'd you score? Oh, I don't know. Uh, like, I don't so know, I remember that. I'd be concerned. Did you, did you just roll it down the wee. <laughs> nah, a couple of strikes in there. A couple of spares. Uh, I know. Spurs is spare. Don't worry about it. Uh, spurs is spare. <laughs> bumpers? No bumpers. Mm. I did used to do the bumpers when I was a win, you know? And then you'd have that, what do you call a fucking machine? You take it down, you put the bowl in it. The ramp? You let it roll down. Oh, uh, the uh, ramp, eh? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Which is for children and the elderly? I was a child at the time. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was me and my sister and her now husband, yeah. you know? Uh, once again, I've confused my bowling ability with just sheer power. Mm. You know, I like throw it so hard that I go, I'm good at this. Yeah. That's but all if, you need. But if I miss, it's like hopping over into the next thing. <laughs> well, a strike is like luck. Oh, oh go 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 go. The are bowling community's again. coming oh, after God, you. God. You know what? I take it back. I take it back. Jesus Christ. I'm into fucking snooker spacks in my DMs that were like, you don't fucking know. Are you trying to say Ronnie Coleman's fucking none? No. Coleman. I didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> Sorry. Lightweight, <Lie> baby. Ain't nothing but a peanut. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> sorry, sorry. God forgive me. Um, but yeah, I was, you know, I was being over exaggerative on a comedy podcast and people yeah. were in the snooker community. They were not happy. Oh, and those comments, people are using terms like HIO, like hole in one. When they're, right, when they're writing like that, oh, 147 is much more complicated than I. Because I'm not. Some guy actually went, I know some fucking idiots have got a hole in one. Yeah. Because that's pure luck. Yeah. You know what I mean? What I'm saying is, oh, we go again. Uh, what I'm saying is, a oh, strike yeah. can be luck. Yeah, so we're gonna hold him on. Now, don't you dare clip us, one. You did it so <laughs> dirty that last time with that fucking clip. I was sitting there in my bed sweating, <laughs> thinking, "Fuck the snooker community's pissed at me." Huh? <laughs> Taking the fucking weed vests off. Taking the waistcoats off. Come on. <laughs> uh, yeah, of course you don't know what I'm talking about. It's snooker. Yeah. How the fuck would I know anything about snooker? Yeah. But it did learn me a lesson, you know. If you don't know anything about it, don't talk about it. Do you think Snooker, I... Snooker, Palestine, don't talk about it. You know, keep it out. <laughs> Same thing. I don't know anything about it. Uh, do you think I have a, pr a confidence problem? I don't know if you have a confidence problem, no. As in, like, I was watching uh, the Great British uh, Pottery Throwdown the other day. Oh, that's great. Aye. I wasn't watching it. It was on and while well, I was eating my dinner. And I, I looked at that and I was like, I said to Moore, I was like, do you know who'd be good at that? Me. <laughs> Do you know he'd be good at fucking wanking them pots into 
into shape. Well, let's break it Mate, down. Never done it before. Why do you think you'd be good at it? I, ju- I just because it's uh, just precise and coordinated. Is there anything you look at and you go, I could never do that? Marathons. You could do that. I probably could if I could be arsed. See, see how easy that was? You could anyone could do a marathon. <laughs> you could. Um, There's boys in the ice legs, skate. do them on their hands. I, I can ice skate pretty No, well. but like, you know, the tours and shit. Do you not shoot me at the ice bowl? Yeah. Or but like, thing? You were like, doing like jumping no, 360s? No, but I wasn't. But I, was, I wasn't. We, we needed to do a couple of comedy f- spills. Mm-hmm. I had to fake them. <laughs> I, had to, I had to go, oh, I'm falling over it because it was, it was cutting it up otherwise. Skateboarding. I did skateboard a bit when I was younger, but I was too heavy even then. <laughs> But what do you call it? it was 0.75 in Belfast, bro? I was oh, in yeah. there. I was in there twice a day, like it was Ben Fags. It's like I need another deck. Smashed it. <laughs> I was like 14, 17 stone. <clears throat> Trying to think of something that you couldn't do. Um, you sing, could, singing. I would never do like the stars in the race. You wouldn't have. I'd the, be. I'd be having cold sweats if I knew I had to do karaoke. I don't. I don't know why. Really? Yeah. But it's so silly and fun. Yeah, which I hate. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it is about singing. I feel like that's why I need to get you to do mushrooms, so you do karaoke. <laughs> then, then we'll be. I'll be fixed. I feel like you'll look at karaoke in a different way. <laughs> yeah. Once your third eye is open, <laughs> my third eye would be open. I'll be that nervous. <laughs> it would have to be like something quite screamy. It would have to be like uh, Beastie Boys or something. I'd walk you through the mountain field. Me and you do break stuff. Party's over. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I ever leave. So <laughs> like, what the fuck is it? <laughs> it's Woodstock in the nine. It's going crazy. Yeah. Set fire night ambulance. You know? <laughs> now, did you see Josh from Queens of Stone Age singing Bowie? No. Oh, no. bro. Worlds collide. So he's up there fucking seven foot. Let's dance. <laughs> but on your fucking, you know? Every 40 year old grunger woman in the crowd. See, if Josh Homer can do it, why can't you do it? Because he's in one of the biggest rock bands on earth. Yes, but he's being silly. But he's a singer. Yeah, but like, you know, he's... <laughs> you ever do karaoke now? No, no. Me and Niall were about to do karaoke. Uh, and fuck, I've never seen a man pace a room like it in my life. <laughs> and then they, they didn't have enough time, so we didn't get on. We what were we going to sing? Uh, Beastie Boys. Beastie Boys. Can you imagine that? Me uh, and Niall up doing Beastie Boys. <laughs> with his vocal reach. <laughs> shut, shut down. <laughs> and I think it was like sabotage too. Bro. Uh, <laughs> The times, sabotage. The times we'd have had. I, I said I could do like Johnny Cash, no bother. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I Cru- can see you did a boy named Sue. Uh, what a about girl a- named Junico? <laughs> <laughs> bit, of, bit of crooning. Oh, uh, that's yeah. That? Like the crip walking? No, <laughs> <laughs> no, like fucking, uh, like uh, yeah, like a Sinatra type. You know, we just basically talk. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could do my. You could you could do the fuck out of my way. Oh, that's the. I want that. Yeah, any, anything. Yeah, Johnny Cash would be great. Yeah, Johnny Cash. That'd be good. I'll stay in my case, of which I'm certain. Now nah, I'll just kick in a Simon out of the way. <laughs> I brought my own. I brought my own shit. Takes like a fucking two grand Sennheiser mic out of the thing. Uh, four thousand patrons calling to karaoke. Let's dance. <laughs> 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 you tell me if we did on that stars in your eyes and did Jay Z and Kanye, it wouldn't have been completely done. Like, oh, it'd have been yeah, over. I had, I had a couple of fantasies about that. Yeah, I, I would have got into the crowd. Imagine, imagine that. Uh, you know, you fucking. <laughs> imagine you were like, you know, who, who's up next? You know, who, who's up next? It's Armacan and Colin Gillis. And then Arm comes out in all white strobe lights. Who, who's who in this song? I want to be Kanye just so I can do the Married at the bar that one. Fish fillet. Yeah I want to do that Oh yeah And then at the end And I can retire And then at the end Oh I'd be open to the This, this bit Sm- Just strobes Open that pit the fuck Me and Arnold do that the Next one <laughs> so o- Otis would be good too Otis would be great Aye I ain't Valence Flag Huh? I ain't Valence Flag I ain't Valence Flag Do nothing for the rest of them Watch the chair Watch the chair. <laughs> with the break. <laughs> you need to watch our throats. <laughs> Fucking creaking up in this bitch. I'll never done watching the throne. 
I think it's going to go every episode. Right. Uh, and then after the darts there, Sean Haggerty, such a damn move, just fell asleep on the sofa. Class. Shout out Sean for organizing. That, that's a stress organizing event, you know, and you got fucking all the kids running about during the day and then you have to go and do a big event. And uh, once, I, once it was over, it was all settled. He just sat in the green room, I guess. <laughs> I got fucking wiped on Saturday. Right. I haven't drank like all karaoke. year. I was doing karaoke, I was doing blind karaoke. All year is two months. I said TikTok trend at the minute. Blind karaoke? Yeah, where you like sit in front of the TV. <laughs> Stevie Wonder. <laughs> Superstition. <coughs> They've got the lyrics up in the back on the TV, and then you have to follow the pace. You get a point for pace, you get a point for lyrics, and you get a point for <coughs> guessing the song title and singer. It's fun time. Well, clearly, I would imagine if you know the lyrics, you would know the song and... Artists. Oh yeah, they kind of go, it's more so the easy part is like the song name, but sometimes you don't know the artist, and then sometimes you know the song, but the lyrics are just completely beyond you, and that's where the funny parts come in, mm. you know? They put on I'm a sheet for Blink-182, and I was like, oh, all I know in this song is the, where are you? But the rest of it, I have no idea. Which is second verse, isn't it? Yeah. It's later in the song. The very start, it's like, <laughs> it's very emo. Hello there, the angel from my nightmares. The shadow and the dun dun in the dark. <laughs> we can live like Jack and Sally if we want. We'll have Halloween on Christmas. That's Halloween on Christmas. That's emo. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is too happy for me. Yeah. Get some black and cobwebs in here. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, have you been to black and cobwebs? <laughs> Super good espresso martini. It's new. <laughs> That can suck my dick as well. Espresso martinis? Fuck off. Man, you hate things Get the that are fuck out of my life. universally loved. Yeah, Everyone people loves an espresso martini. Uh, people are fucking idiots. So. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, it's it's a nice wee lifter, you know? Dark and Stormy is a superior cocktail. You know, we know this. We know this. Men of taste. We know this. But uh, espresso martinis, and, you know, it's a nice wee thing. Whatever. It's Do you good. like white Russians? I mean... I mean, ev everything's okay to like just grab and be like, "What's that taste like?" Oh, well, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be like white Russians are like like Bagley. There's a period of time where white Russians were his thing. Yeah, you know, and he was like fucking bringing cartons of milk on a night out and all that shit. That's me every Christmas. Every yeah. Christmas we go about the Dale farm. Yeah. What about the vodka, the Tia Maria, Tia Maria, and then get to work on it. Kalua, it's nice. Uh, you have you drink white Russians though all day. You'll have da belly. Oh yeah, you will have big, robust, hard da belly. <laughs> <laughs> like, and, and you watch your shirt. Like, say that we whistle there. You'll have your t-shirt and then shirt over the top. And as you keep drinking white Russians, you just see the shirt just slowly, you know, come down because mm. the belly's fucking, you know, booming out. Even four liters of milk. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And the shades the next day, <laughs> you'll shit a full cheesecake. Yeah, just if you drink white Russians all night. Put them Derry Lee dumps. Shout out to the Patreon community too, because I said, you know, Sally and Jess was like, you know, if anyone knows a good cheesecake in this fucking this country, so please get in contact. Well, the amount of tasty traits that I've had in my DMs this past two weeks has been unbelievable. I mean, you know, we we could have a sort of Karen Bartlett scenario on our hands with many different establishments. Yes. We just keep mentioning it, and then they just keep fucking giving you shit forever. Yeah. Well, we, don't, well, we don't. We we turn up and we pay. Yeah, although we did get a nice sweet treat from Stramwiches. Of course. So uh, to them, uh, they give us the masseu. Which we had. Oh man, that was a disgusting behaviour again, wasn't it? Oh, so fat. So fat. It was so fat to have like the sandwiches, which are doorstops. Like they're fucking big fat sandwiches, and the two of us talking on the term masseu. And then you were like, "Oh, Jesus, is a watery one," and I went, "It's coffee," and you were like, "I don't know if I've had one like that before," and I, and I was like, "That's what it is." Aye. Co it was tasty, like coffee and biscuits with coffee. It was a nice time. I didn't know we had this button. Disgusting! <laughs> <laughs> this shit. Disgusting! Oh, that's great. I just use that the rest of the thing. No, it never ends. Disgusting! <laughs> that's fucking fed out. <laughs> 52 episodes. <laughs> we just find the disgusting button. We have unlocked another one. Just when you think you know the answers, we change the questions. I did Stramwich and Sandwiches are, are on the borderline where you're like, Calm down with the meats. Oh, it's so good. Like man. you're like Jesus Christ. Nah, like, stack them up. How can you even get it in your mouth? Yeah, I was great. Me and you were greasy. You were like gr a bit greasy. Oh right? my god. Also, the amount of people when I put up that sandwich, the amount of people I'd say there was about twenty responded and they said I should call her, and it tickled me every time. 
Because your cock was in? Oh, the, no! Oh, yeah. No, that's, that's the one I put up. You bastard. This no. man took a big zoom in on my dick. He sat, he, he, <laughs> you know when you jump in the car and you get that moose knuckle? Yeah. And I went, I went, just look at the meat and that, and then zoom down on the, on the lump. And everybody was just like, ugh. All them horny bitches that write in the Patreon, they were like, oh my God, stop it. I'm sitting here and work, ruining the office chair. It's not right. You're the fucking, you're the fucking house, housewife's little helper over here. <laughs> keeping, them, keeping them going through the day. That's how I keep my story numbers up. A couple of shots of his. Yeah, my dick his pack, and me eating. His packet there. If you want to see all these people in fucking marketing meetings and all talking about it, if you want to sell, if you want to get your story numbers up. You can hire me just to eat food in your car yeah. and you'll get tons of views. With a front wedgie. 5,000 views in his story, no bar. Bro, it was about 23,000. That's concerning. <laughs> I'm gonna I don't like 23, I don't like the idea of 23,000 people watching me eat a Sunday dinner. Get the, we'll get a good moose knuckle going in the car here and then I'll just write, just put a wee small link there, the tickets. No, no more. No more. More. No, no more. No more moose. More dong. <laughs> More bag, whatever it is in there. It is, it's mostly bag. We've covered this. It's mostly bag, but here you roll that bag up, stuff it in like a, like a sleeping bag. Bag and all. <laughs> bag, uh, and all. Um, bag and all. Bag and all. Um, there was big. Right, we'll get in, we'll get into the fucking uh, the Oscars in a wee second here. Did you see any any business about uh, this picture that was going around? Oh, Kate Middleton? Uh, yeah. I didn't know her name was uh, Princess Catherine. <laughs> Here's I. Weird, isn't it? It's worse than Tunic. Tunic. <laughs> so this photo went up. What was everyone cracking up about? I didn't even know that it was edited. edited. Yeah. I mean, like, this is... Who gives a fuck? Like, yeah. Like, you haven't seen her. Oh, Jesus. You haven't seen her in a while. And then this photo goes up and people are all over it. Like, they're, like it's a photo of the moon landing. You know, like... That doesn't seem to look right. That's been <laughs> and she goes, yeah, sometimes I dick about with some editing so far. Do you think she put that up because of the people saying that she's dead? I don't know. That don't photo know. Was, was very... She put it up because it was not Mother's Day. Oh, yeah, it makes so sense. So she was like, I am a mother. I still have children. I'm still alive. You know? I mean, it, it's very get out vibes, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, like that could be anyone sitting there and they've just pasted her face in afterwards. Yeah. But it is amazing how people will st like they were talking about that for about two days in the radio. I wish I was. I wish I get Keezy on the phone now <laughs> and just ask him why. No, don't really. But the, <laughs> the man, the man's busy. Uh, but you know, like just be like, why? Why is there such a big hoo ha about someone uploading a photo? Because it's the internet, man. You know, they need like who gives a fuck if she edited her hand or something. It was like one of them Google phone things where it's like best take. Could be. It could be. It. Yeah. Who gives a fuck? Could be something as simple as that. Who gives a fuck anyway? I mean, they all. Look at all these little royal children. See down his hand there? That's probably some, something satanic, is it? <laughs> look at that. I zoom in on that. Look at that. Me? Bohemian Grove. Gang signs. It's big, it's big Milton throwing up the crap signs in there. He is. OG, triple OG. Which one's he? I don't know. But anyway, still no still no confirmation on the BBL anyway. No, that's right. Yes, yeah. the BBL rumors are rife. Give me a shot of that ass, Catherine. Mm, big royal hoop. <laughs> Do you want me to type that in? Royal hoop. Biggest royal bounder. <laughs> that's Peppa. Peppa? Aye. Peppa ass. Who's that now? Oh, people were going, nah, come on, man. You fucking, you've better ass than that. Yeah, but it, it's because <laughs> it was at the royal wedding. Yeah. You know, people were busting hard. Anyway, fuck that. That story has nothing in it. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know why people are so concerned. Fuck the royals, anyway. Yeah, this is an anti-royal podcast. Anti-royal. <laughs> they were not that hardcore. Did you see like kneecap dropping out of South by Southwest? I've seen that. You know, because they're all like, "This is funded by fucking Raytheon or something." Yeah. Them boys be doing their doing their digging. They're about it, but them boys be doing their digging. See who's see who's you know paying for all these fucking lights. To be fair, festival. it is it is unbelievably American to have a music festival sponsored by the army. Yeah, you know, sponsored by the navy in Bud Light. Yeah, <laughs> like it's mad. Like, enjoy fucking Black Keys live in Austin <laughs> City Limits. Here's a laser guided missile. Goes 
through the eyeball of a Syrian child. <laughs> yeah! America! America, dude! <laughs> I talked about it the other week. Did I? The, the fucking... Uh, did I talk about that? The, what are they called? The uh, Jihadi Blender? What? It's like a... <laughs> It's a laser guide. They were talking about what was they talking about? This on some. Uh, oh, I was your guy Chris Williamson or whatever. That was on Joe Rogan, and he goes, "They've got Good this plug. laser guided thing now that has no explosion at the end. So it just they it goes, Shoo! and it's basically just guided by wherever the laser's pointed, and it's essentially, it's like you know, like an arrow you'd fire like this, but like that size. So it doesn't like hit a car and go. It just goes shoom, like straight through you and blows you to bits. This is why you don't sleep. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> Stay up all night. This is why you be tossing and turning, thinking yeah. about jihadi blenders. Yeah. <laughs> but imagine Watch that, cartoons. Imagine, go to bed. Imagine that. And the thing's, the thing's so accurate that they were like, you got to tell us what seat of the car the guy's sitting in. Because it doesn't blow up and kill everyone. It just, it's just a fucking spear that goes through one guy. Oh, God. Set for a different Oh, country. God. Imagine it was slightly off and just took your legs off. Shung. Ah! You know? But then, and then of course, you know what I mean? This is fucking quarter two in the morning. I was like, let me Google it, see what see what come. Well, first thing come up actually was the Buy the Blender video. Oh nice. Jihadi Blender. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nice. just, I swear to God if you do it right now. But then the other photo or was a video on Facebook, it was just like, you know, these guys in you know some war tone dump walking around a car, going like, oh hello, Hookbar. And then they open the back door. And it just looks like someone threw a bucket of bolognese in the back. This thing just went through the Not roof the and just turned this kind of fucking minestrone in the back. <laughs> and you'd be sitting in the front, fine, like. Unless a wee bit of shrapnel hit you in the head. <laughs> That's fucking terrifying, anyway. Anyway, the Oscars. Uh, You're still working your way through the Sopranos, aren't you? Aye. Aye. It's great. Yeah. You do want to, like, it is kind of like Top Boy, where you want to start using the lingo. Oh, yeah. Like, I call more in a like eight times. I have I have to resist the urge every time I see one of the boys after watching this promise, just grab the back of their neck. Yeah. Had it. Hey, how you doing? And that's not gay, but you know, one of the dudes gets a reputation, Uncle Junior. Yeah. He's a bad bastard. For going down on, on his new girlfriend. Yeah. And they're all taking the piss out of him, like, you eating that fucking sushi. <laughs> Maureen's like she's just like, it's so uh it's so toxic masculinity for like any you know, like making your woman pleasing your lady at all is like unmanly yeah and he's like you know the reputation is uh if i suck pussy i'll suck anything but it's like uh um, <laughs> imagine that it's a thing though of like there is such a thing as like so masculine that it's gay yeah that's gay so masculine you won't eat a bit of puss yeah of one of your 10 girlfriends because you're in yeah. the mafia stop cosplaying as this manly man yeah eat some pussy and have a daiquiri <laughs> In that order. You know. <laughs> it's some piss. I don't need put. What do you do? Just. What do you do if you don't? You know, just walk in the room. Hey, sweetie. Bend over. Eh. Just immediately insertion. Immediate insertion? Yeah, I guess. Jesus Christ. You know, it's too violent. You so know? Is it known that black black guys don't eat piss either? That's a that's a very harmful stereotype, Colin. I've seen it in a comedy bit. I've seen it. Who was, was there not a. Is not like Kevin Hart bit or something? Yeah. The guys like just, like, they they just walk up and down in the Thames like That was literally me the day when you said we were gonna stop it out doing us. Suck the put suck the pussy out of that white flat white on Yeah, the idea the idea of a, of a cinnamon donut will have me rubbing the palms. Yeah. Like. <sighs> Fuck my palms are sweaty actually. Yeah. All this post time. Eminem. <laughs> <laughs> nah, eat the post. Disgusting! Yeah, you gotta. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta do it. I actually have a friend who might be listening to this. If you are, you know who you are. Yeah. <laughs> this shit. And, uh, he's had sex with many women. Mm -hmm. He's a handsome lad. Mm -hmm. And uh, he has changed his ways. Yeah. But when he was in uni, yeah. he, uh, you know, was quite boastful about the fact that he doesn't go down uh -huh. on girls. Okay. This shit. Which I thought was pretty good. It's pretty good. That's the luxury of being a hot guy. Yeah, you really... Straight in search. You really... Like, they don't know what they have. Hot people. Yeah. You know? Lazy? Yeah, just to get to glide through life. You know, yeah. Glide it through, glide in. 
people will be talking about oh meeting women. They're like, oh yeah, you just walk up to them, talk to them. You can't do that. No, <laughs> when you look like me. Not when you look like a threat. No. If I walk up to them, not when you look like you're about to put them in a boat. Yeah, they, they mace me. <laughs> mace me, chuck me, spill my hair. <laughs> Sorry, I just said miss me, spank me, choke me. Hey, how you doing? Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> ah! I mean, uh, you were talking about me getting the velour uh, tracksuit. 100%. Might fully lean into it. Yep. You were saying a maroon would suit me. How do you spell velour? V-E-L-O-U-R. Because you, you were saying your dad had sort of soprano vibes. Oh, yeah, big time. It was The, the wardrobe was a short sleeve shirts. Is it like a lot of sort of polo shirts that are kind of like a silky material? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chain? We chain underneath, yeah. <sighs> yeah. He loved the chain. A high pant? Yeah. And a dress shirt. Big shoe. high dr- trousers. Yeah. With the dress shoes. And like a Tony totally Soprano when he's in, he's in with a therapist, you know, he'll sit back with the, 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 you know, the pants all, you know, get right up in the... You'd, you'd enjoy that. He actually was very Tony Soprano, but instead of being like, how you doing? He'd just walk around being like, well, oh, Sean. Well, Sean, how are you? Best. 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 <laughs> how you doing? Best. Uh, yeah, you need, this is kind of where you need to be here. He, he looks like a, that's, that's kind of a bit, a bit gayer than you want to go, but you know, that sort of vibe, you would suit that down to a team. Yeah. I just do Lavery's looking like that. A hundred percent. Three you, weeks in New York, come back to Lavery's to host. Oh, yeah, you know. Let me see, Valura hey, tracks. Hey, so, uh, in the night. I feel like I need to actually just write like Mafia or something in there. Yes. <laughs> There's Tony in one there. <laughs> what a fuck, yeah. man. That's what you need. Doing crowd work as a soprano. You would, you would f- I mean, you love jammies. You know, you, you I'm s- all about the Italian Mafia lifestyle. There's Diddy in between, you know, bucking boys. Uh, yeah, you you need one of those. Hey, yeah. Lavery's mixing. Hey, keep it going for Khan and get us. And you need like, you need like a, and it's weird because they're kind of coming back in the fashion, but you need like a naff dad shoe. Do you know what I mean? Like, like what? Like, a, like the older sort of New Balance that people actually just wore for arch support. Uh, yeah, but I feel like you got to be at a grill if you're wearing them. You know, you got to be cooking up with Jake. <laughs> but just be that guy. You know what I mean? I don't want to be at the grill. Don't be at the I grill. Wanna be, just, I want to be having beers while someone well, else. You do. You just you, you walk in the Lavery's green room, breathing heavy. <laughs> And you sit down, legs far too spread. Yeah. And you don't move an this inch. Guy's man, this guy's uh, man spread right here. The There's red. you. That, look what it, see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, that's nice. That's you Why need. is that tank top so low? The wife beater? Yeah. I uh, don't know. Tucked in. The wife beater's clapped out. It's halfway down the chest. This is what I'm talking about. This is what you need. It's not velour, but it's like a... <laughs> look that fast that. <laughs> Bit, Fucking pink, hell. That's what you need. Pinky ring. <laughs> S- slick. <laughs> I a pinky ring, no. <laughs> slick the hair back. <laughs> I can't work. Yeah, you, you need I can't a, have a pinky ring. You need a tracksuit and a toothpick. <laughs> I can't have a pinky and ring. a pair of like what do you call those Nike fucking what do you call those naff like Nike fucking I've seen Mike Tyson wearing shoes. This is fashion. Where are they? Oh, these are these are like boxing shoes. He wears these big. I forget the sort of the the product code of them, but they're like you know if you wore them in the night. Yes, those. That's what you need. No, there. bro. Yes, I said, no, bro. I cannot. Those no it's... grill grass cutters, grill masters. Yeah, of course yeah. they are. <laughs> That's the lawnmower, fucking. Yeah, the grill masters. That's Get... divorce spec. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but you don't wear it. You you just got the loose cock and balls under the velour. You got the tits out. You got the fucking grill, <laughs> the grill ma- the Nike grill masters. Just look at this guy's leg, bro. This is a fucking middle section of my penis. Uh, you get the grill masters on, velour tracksuit. Man, you'd be cleaning up. I you, don't. And it's, yeah, I you, don't. you get it the same color as the Lavery's curtain. No. I don't. Yeah, mother, how's your mother? I, I don't know if I could pull that off. I'd have to go more. Could I pull off like a Tony Soprano type of, you know, like, oh, the, yeah. like the more dressy type? Bro, you know what you would... We small Rolex. You, you know, know what you'd look 36 great 36 mil Rolex, digging into my fat. You would look great in the short sleeve shirts. Like a black short sleeve shirt, and it's metal. It's white down the middle. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah, sir. I was wearing one of them at the darts. I have the purple one. Yeah, that's what you need. Tony Soprano. Fully closed over. Do you wear white feeders at the house? No, I don't own any. Mickey, <laughs> Mickey's a big wife beater guy. <laughs> Mickey called me on FaceTime the other day, drunk as a skunk, wearing the black wife beater in the hotel bed. Yeah. 
I, see that there? I could pull that That's, off. Yeah, easy. <laughs> I could pull easy. that off. No sweat. Look at the wee small Rolex and all. Yeah. Do you know cool. what? The, do you know what? The, that's very Italian, very like dressy watch that suggests like I ain't doing shit. You know, like I'm, I don't need a sporty one. I don't need a waterproof one. I'm just like this is a this is jewelry. I have an idea for you. Okay. Can we do the waterfront. Grow the hair out. And we do Sopranos, but we pick each other's outfits. Okay. And it's not gonna be one of them ones where I'm gonna do you dirty. I'm gonna make. No, I'm not gonna do you dirty. No, we're gonna look probably too sweet. If anything, <laughs> probably too sweet. It's the mom squad. Like there is a lot of similarities between me and him. Like he's fucking. We just. Anytime he gets in the bed with a wife, yeah. and he's like, the beds are slightly too short for him. That's me. And he's like. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah. Well, at that, at that very start, whatever he's like, he's on the Prozac. He's like, this Prozac. Yeah. It's got a couple of side effects, right? Yeah. You know, it's uh, making things not work how they used to. Yeah. My dick. Are you struggling to get an erection? Yeah, I mean, I take a couple of these things, and uh, you know, my wife, she's she's on top, and I can't I can't find myself to garner a root. <laughs> <laughs> garner a root. I struggle to garner a root with this Prozac. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, it's making me happy, but my dick's flaccid <laughs> from <laughs> sunrise to sunset. Yeah, I, yeah. I can't get hard. That'll be me at the, the waterfront there. Yes. See, this is all. This, this is great. Look at. By the way, sorry. Speaking of moose knock, look at that Italian mafia. Look at that this? fucking tray of meat right there. <laughs> that's what I mean. That's, tray of Italian meat. That's what I'm saying. You get. You would sit there. You know, then pants you bring up to like your belly button, mm, and, then, yeah. and then they're they're like MC Hammers pants. A lot of lot of room around the bollocks. Yeah. That's a sneaky one, by the way. People thinking I've lost fit. I just wear my trousers. Hey, I haven't lost anything. Honey deck in these motherfuckers. Uh. Yeah, but yeah, that's great. Let's, let's go full Sopranos to. I mean, that's more my speed there. I don't know that's who that is. Um, that's like if me and you join airs. <laughs> Joined airs. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm obsessed with this now. And oh, that'd be us there. <laughs> that's us at any hotel pool. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I got ga- gangster is that photo? The glare. The glare. What was the other photo there? He had like he had like a gun. He had like a gun in his hand under the. I mean, this is great audio listening, isn't it? People why, listen to this. Why is this not the kind of like go-to meme for like Sigma meals and stuff like that? Why is it Mad Men? Because there's sex here. Probably. Mm. Yeah, he's what a what a fucking bad motherfucker. There is. Give what, us a wee. How you do? How you do? Yeah, there you go. Look, it's all it's all nasally breathing. That one bit. Where uh, he, like he's in a restaurant, and the guy's talking to him, and there's another fella behind him at the table who's wearing a cap in a, quite a nice restaurant, and he's like fully distracted by the fact like, by the fact the guy's wearing a cap. He's like, "What is this fucking ball game or something?" And he gets up yeah. and he just goes over to the guy and he's like, "Take off the hat." And the guy's like, oh, "It's my hat. I'll wear it if I want." The acting's a bit sketchy in them them early ones, you know, and uh, and he just goes. And the guy takes the hat off. <laughs> alpha. Alpha shit. Alpha. When you can breathe someone down. Yeah. I'm going to start doing you that. You breathe a hat off someone's head. Aye. It's you, alpha shit. I'm going to start doing that. <laughs> Breathing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I'll be like pulling up with that thing. Can I get two McFlurries? <laughs> right, a McFlurries. And I'll just go. <laughs> and she's like, I'll go to the shop and get them. Good. I want a ruby white yeah. for the wife. None of that pussy shit. No. Oh fuck! What was I? I had yeah. something to say there. It's gone. Oh, oh it's out of me. Oh, um, anyway. oh wait, It's good that you're finally watching The Sopranos because The Sopranos is one of those shows where if you say you haven't seen it, people go, "What? I know. Man, what? You haven't seen The Sopranos?" Well, it's easy, doll, in this country because if you don't have fucking HBO, mm-hmm. you aren't gonna. You're not gonna see it. How are you watching it? The dodgy stick. Oh, you Disgusting. dirty slut. But I, if there's any uh, people working in piracy out there, don't worry. I also pay for seven other fucking platforms, and then I decide to watch it on the dodgy stick because it's easier to find. Sorry. Right. No, do you, know, do you know what my argument is? No. I support piracy because <laughs> the product that's currently being sold is not good. So I think people should be allowed to pirate. Because if you go on to, like, YouTube, right, or Netflix, and you... Or no, if you go on YouTube and you buy something and they take that off the thing, yeah, your content, which you paid for, is gone. True. So pirate the fuck. 
I, I think I bought a series of like Andy Bourdain or something before it moved platforms. So fuck yourselves. Wow. You know? But don't rip the Patreon episodes. Impossible. No, I'd say it's pretty easy done. <laughs> it's impossible. I'm telling you right. You have a go to like. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, thanks. Join the Patreon. Uh... Right? Did you watch the Oscars or what? For fuck's nah, sake. Nah, I don't. I don't really give a fuck. I seen Kellyanne Murphy's speech. I was like, good man. He's a good represent representative of the country. But uh, besides that, nah, I didn't really say anything. No. You've beef with Billie Eilish though. You want to talk about it? <laughs> Let's see. Billy. Oh, it's spelled wrong, isn't it? Billy Eilish. Oscar. I'm a bad. I can't even find the clip, which was just not. I've seen her get a few awards recently. She's like. Have it fucking prepared. <laughs> the speech? Yeah. Or just keep it simple. Yeah. Thanks to my mate for letting, making me play with Barbies when I was younger. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Dick. That's the only Oscar it won, wasn't it, Barbie? Just got swamped by Oppenheimer. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think Kelly Murphy doesn't re didn't really... Like, he would not be at that if he wasn't being like, oh, I'll go, I'll go, because Big Nolan won. Do you know what I mean? Like, if he was the only one that was in the running for getting an award for like best actor he probably wouldn't have went he probably just went ah fuck it, I don't care well they are very boring oh so long you like, know they're very boring any of those kind of things the Emmys the Oscars long it's as all shit, very boring bro. Grammys probably boring as shit because you only see the highlights like yeah but they'll be like award for best grip <laughs> yeah. oh here <yeah>. Brian <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, so, that might be the Pornhub Awards <laughs> best grippy puss <laughs> oh. <laughs> Golden schlong for the year award goes to Johnny D. <laughs> Johnny D. <laughs> Barry Kilgan. Uh, cheers, boys. <laughs> I didn't even shave it or nothing. <laughs> I still haven't seen Saltburn. Ah, fucking, he gives a fuck. Watch it. It's good. It is. It, yeah. Watch it with your mother. No. Yes. No, I can't be watching It's a good people. movie. What's a couple of fucking... I'm not going to sit there with my mother while someone drinks semen from a bathtub. That's not the worst of it. Fuck's a grave. That's not the worst of it. What's worse? I want to see... You should get buy this camera and wax today and secretly film your mother while she watches the guy lick the girl out when she's on the blob. No. <laughs> no. No. Absolutely not. She, would she fucking phone the police probably? No, she'd just be like... I'm on the phone to Ofcom. I, I remember going to show my mum something like like it was like an action kind of. She loves like she loves a very simple kind of plot line to a film. She likes a doll in the house and someone breaks into the house and then the doll has to get out and she loves that. <laughs> She's all about that like the get, old get out of the house the, uh, genre. She, she loves get out of the house stuff, right? Yeah. And uh, but I'll show her like a film and then she'll be like, these films are quite bad, giving people ideas. You know, she's like, uh, it can be played in. If I, if I didn't know how to uh, break into the house and slash someone to death, now I do. You know? <laughs> it's funny, though, like, her, her saying these days that she says every single week, because I don't know what's wrong with the word these days. But it'll be, like, something so simple, you know, that'll, like, set her off. Oh, yeah. She's like, I just don't know what's wrong with the word these days, you know? <laughs> all, we, all we had was meat and spots. I need a two-step verification for my banking up. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with the world these days? We used to just keep it under the stairs. <laughs> used to keep cash under the stairs. <laughs> you burnt the house down, lost it all, but here. She's hilarious. At least it's your money. It's so funny too, a Mother's Day trying to show affection. Oh yeah? She just, oh, she rejects it. She hates it. She hates it. Oh. Got her some perfume, I'll tell you what. Woman doesn't have cheap taste. Did you ask for it? Nah, I knew. I knew what she was using. I knew what she was spritzing. What uh, was it? Uh, Coco Mazel. Coco Mazel? Mm. Okay. <laughs> it was like Coco something. Some bullshit. Yeah. Some bullshit. Coco Mazel. I couldn't believe it when I went to the counter and I said, who can I have the Coco Mazel? Yeah. And a large. <laughs> and a large. <laughs> to go. And the girl was like, 
do you want a gift wrapped? And I was like, I mean, at this point, you know, yeah, put a bit of gold paper around it. Yeah. And then she opened it up and she was like, <laughs> she literally just opened it up. You know the way people like do these like videos where they like, my mom would be the worst for any sort of reaction oh, yeah, videos, yeah, yeah. for any cuteness or like, if I came home, she'd be like, oh, fuck, you're back. Yeah. You know, she opened up the thing and she goes, oh, fuck, I. Right. That was <laughs> it. That was it. It was all we got. What do you want to do? Like bust it open? Like, oh, I mean, I'm a new mom. Okay. Yeah. I'm a new one. Let's Coco myself. <laughs> That's not what it's called, is it? I know. <laughs> Co- it's something Coco Mazel something. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. I'm going to find out the name of it. No, no, no. I'll get it. <coughs> that one. Show Sh- me the box. Chanel. Pink yolk. Po- Coco Mazel. <laughs> Coco Mazel. What did you, what did you Google? C O C O. There it is. Ah, it is. Uh, Ma- Mademoiselle. <laughs> Self hat. Jesus, I fuck. I should have won an eBay. There's oh, for eighty pounds. Se- second hand was it? From divine. <laughs> from divine aromas. Only two spritzes, I don't. <laughs> Coco Mazel. hell. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, playing darts the night before Mother's Day, so Maureen got, you know, you got to do the present from the child. Yes. I fucking just missed it completely. I'm terrible at that. Terrible. I have no sentimentality, no relevance to any sort of days. Terrible at it. Yeah, but she got the gold tap. So be right. Exactly. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Two grand for a fucking tap. This guy's viral. I bet it stores boiling water. Oh, nice. The, I but the cooker. They're a cooker. thousand pound, and then the, and then more. He's like, can I get the one with the handle? That's fourteen hundred pound. Can I get the one with the beside it? That's sixteen hundred pound. What colors does it come in? I'll have the gold one. That's two thousand pound. <laughs> she better be, you know, like super hyped about it. Every day, do you want a cup of tea? You know, nah, they'd be like tea? nail the switch. Tea. <laughs> Probably dishing out teas to everybody. And it, that would be a game changer for tea. Now I have to say, it is. My mom and dad have one. Oh, so quick, just. And, and it is, you know, over the year it does save you money instead of boiling the whole kettle. 2024, the death of the kettle. Hopefully. These new taps. Hopefully. You can just put, you can just put pasta in there. <laughs> Boiling water straight on the straight on the hot. That's pretty crazy. It's crazy. Noodles, bro. <laughs> Cooked. Tea. One spread to the top. Cup of soup. <laughs> Cleaning the dishes. 30 seconds. Yeah. I don't have a clean the dishes. <laughs> oh, yeah, water, true. But... yeah, sorry. <laughs> That's just hot water in it. I cooked dinner for the in-laws yesterday. <laughs> And uh, just because I was, you know, I was like, Maureen was doing that last minute panic where people are coming to finish her house, so she has to tidy all day, you know? She's like, I'm going to tidy it for builders to come in. And I was like, all right. So I was like, I'll, be, I'll go down here with Eddie and I'll cook dinner. Made a couple of top sides. Don't worry about it. Sorry? A couple of beefs. A couple of roast beefs. Oh, nice. And uh, some, some roasted new potatoes. And then also some mash, which I don't even like, but this was luxurious. Luxurious. Talk me through the luxury mash. Spuds. Milk, butter, salt, pepper. That's just mash, man. It is, but a fucking there was a you know when you really work it and it starts to be like a like a like it's you know like gooey. Yeah. It, it, it all it all comes together in the pan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Bro, you have to fucking give it one of them there. Yeah. You know? <laughs> My mother knows. And then, I, off. and then I didn't eat it, I was thinking. But uh so I went to give Eddie a wee bit in a plate, and Maury goes, oh, no, not that plate, a different plate. So I reached into the cupboard, and on the way out of the cupboard, just fucking obliterated this plate against the thing. So she basically went, don't use that plate, it's too fancy. And I went, no sweat, got a new plate. <laughs> Stone cold walk then. It was insane. I've never seen a plate smash like it in my life. It was fucking dust all over the place, but uh, that story's bullshit. Nice. Uh, so... <laughs> So they're saying John Cena is part of this, you know, they're doing one of these public humiliations to induct him into the the Hollywood, the Hollywood elites. Mm. Yeah. Big Jew, is he? Cena? There he is there. I mean, he didn't go fully nude. You can see the wee bit of tape over Look his Look at that dick, V. That is, yep. Yeah, not a hair on him, too. Nah. <laughs> he's freshly shorn. <laughs> but he's, such, he's trying so hard to be the rock, and he's trying to really break into that business. No, I think he's a different caliber of man. Yeah, he's, not yeah, not as good. No, nah, he's he's very likable. He's very likable, I'd say. I don't you know. know. You see him in the Tonight Show and all. He's just a goofy guy, like goofy fucker. 
He's in some neck all the same. He knows how to work a crowd too. You know, like intention with them buddies be chopping up. Uh, you see, he come in there. Uh, do you reckon if the Rock was there and he just walks past them in a suit, just like ha ha ha, idiot? Rock released his own skincare this week. Did he? Mm-hmm. He was walking about Times Square promoting it. Is he? Yeah. And they also got a statue of him, Madame Tussauds. What is it? Just so, ster- steroids in a cam? W after W. Um, no, I think it's just, you know, it's sold in Target, so. Oh, yeah. That's, a, that's what you do when you're that famous. You just want to sell like fucking 10 billion units of it. Yeah. At a reasonable price. Yeah. Class. I might do Very some smart. skincare. <laughs> do you have a skincare routine? No. I don't do that. <laughs> I have all the shit. I have all the stuff. But I also don't have a bathroom right now. But uh, you know what I might do is I'll, I'll accumulate it once we get the bathroom put in and be like, this is my m- my meal self-care. Yeah, drop the skincare routine. Because they, they, you know, there was a sponsor in General Banter for a minute where they sent out a bunch of shit. Mm-hmm. And then they were like, we're pulling this sponsor because we didn't sell much. And I was like, well, surprise, surprise, bitch. <laughs> Your audience didn't flock to that? No, the 18 to 30 year old uh, <laughs> scumbags who listen to my podcast, shout Holy out. Holy shit, look at them buns. Shout out to you guys. <laughs> But yeah, no one's, no one's ordering fucking eye serum <laughs> after this. <laughs> the fuck. I do a bit of eye serum. But yeah, I'll do that. Once once I get a bathroom, I'll, you know, I'll be like fucking, you know, get the exfoliator on, leave it on for a second, wash it off. Eye serum, tighten the eye bags. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's important. My female friends nag at me all the time for not having a skincare routine. Mm-hmm. Like, that's really bad. Then again, I heard some statistic where they were like, the average female puts something like, you know, 180 chemicals on her skin in a day. Yeah. And fellas just rocking about there, no chemicals? Just Zero a bit, chem. Just, just a bit of grease? Yeah, chem free. Just a bit of grease and exogenous butter? Yeah. Beautiful. Must be so annoying when you're a girl and there's like just the odd fella with luscious locks. Yeah. And, and they're like, man, I just, I just fucking, I just let the rain hit it. And yeah. It's completely beautiful hair. Yeah. And they're out there, fuck it. I used to live with a girl. Well, there's about six people in the house, like, but this girl would about once a week just cover her head in fucking olive oil. Why? I don't know. Moisture? What does it do? Make it luscious and moist? Luscious, moist? But I was, like, I, I, was like, I was like, listen, but you're, we're fucking, you're a student here? Yeah. Use Crispin dryers. You know, don't, don't, be, don't be putting the full fucking high quality Crispin dry. <laughs> virgin olive oil on your fucking head. <laughs> this is shit. <laughs> yeah, just fucking sitting on a sofa, ruining it. That's what it's my fucking... Deposit nah, gone now, I, you I, I can't do that shit. The, the admin for me have brushed my teeth twice a day is already too much. I hate it. <laughs> you ever brush your teeth and you've had a bad day and you're like, I have to do this every day. Forever? No, it's a good it's a good start and a finish to the day. They'll brush the fangs? Yeah. I will brush my fangs and immediately pop one of these in. Aye. Like what was the point? That's all right. Just taste the Colgate and Nordic. <laughs> <laughs> a terrible cocktail for the mouth. Just be one of them uh Inuit folk that just chew a bit of stick, clean your teeth. What? Not here. Bro, I was, I was, he's I was on a film shoot one time. Now, you know, I was, I was in the business too one time, holding a fucking umbrella. But uh, they make you do this shit. No. <laughs> well, not far off. Not far off. They would, they would just be like, yeah, we're recreating this scene. We don't have enough extras, so shave all your beard off and dress like a, you know, nineteen forties gangster. And be in the background of this shot. I've told this story before. The guy. What was ha- this for? When I worked in that place in Derry, but they were like, oh. uh, I told this before, but the guy was like, "Ah, oh, yeah, you, you, we've got a suit here. It's gonna fit you. It's giant fucking pinstripe suit." I was basically in in Sopranos, and then the guy was like, "Shave your face," and I was like, uh, "With what?" And he goes, uh, and he had like a because he'd he'd flown over from London to like direct this or something, and he just had a fucking like overnight bag, and he was there's a razor there, and I'm like, "This is your razor," and he's like, "Just," and I'm just standing there like dry shaving it off. If I had the balls back then, I'd be like, "Fuck you." What you were dry shaving with a stranger's razor? Yeah, I've got AIDS now. Oh. <laughs> a full, full AIDS. Stranger razor. Yeah, but you know, we're in the scene, they're like fucking smashing sugar glass cups and all. It's pretty, pretty cool. Nice. It's pretty cool for. I like this unit pinstripes for two pounds eighty an hour. Uh, <laughs> you'd like to see me in the pinstripes? Yeah, suit? I'd like to see that. I could pr- the photo does exist. Someone, it's probably on Facebook, deep in the archives there. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of that shit. But anyway, my point is, there's a guy on that, he was like a runner or something, and the guy was trying to quit smoking, and he was chewing like licorice root. Ugh. He's like, oh yeah, it's supposed to stop you smoke, smoking or whatever. So this motherfucker was just, let me let me just see if I can spell that first of all. L- licorice root. This motherfucker is walking around with these shits here. Just like sticks. So the guy was like, you know, 
running about with gear and all and carrying like this little chewing on a fucking branch. Sir, just take the lung cancer. And it was an outside shoot. I was like, just smoke the bangs. Just get in the bangs. Just get in the bangs. Don't be the, buying from the plant guru. This is just guys, <laughs> this guy's chomping root to try and stay off the, the Lamberts. Isn't that crazy? That's mental. Oh, they'll probably keep some off the biscuits and everything else. And uh, just everybody all day was just like, what, what is in your mouth? I'm actually trying to quit smoking. Oh. Uh, yeah, but even having to explain that, I think, like, yeah. I just got a bit of cocoa mazel and crack on. <laughs> anyway, any other crack before we we slide on over up inside this Patreon? No, we're crack. I'm trying to think. No, nah, there was the boys are going on holidays here. Apart from me, you're going to Canada. <laughs> I'm going to Canada tomorrow. You're going to Japan. Going to Japan. When's that again? I've asked you three times. Uh, twenty second. Twenty second. Nice. There we go. Now send me loads of pictures of ramen. Just get a oh. big bowl of tokon say. Go to that place too where like you have to sit in a booth by yourself. <laughs> You'll find yourself. It's a good time. Yeah, yeah I'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> you ever solo lunch now? I asked you this already. Uh, oh, I, I'm sure I have. I love a good solo lunch. Listen, I mean, it's hard to be a lunch with the boys, but... A, uh, quite a lot, because Shane was just bobbing about. Or like at the hotel in the pool or something. I was like, oh, fuck that. I'm going to get a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> Exercise? <laughs> nah. How we get a hot dog? The ultimate solo lunch. Yeah. Uh, Glizzy for one, please. <laughs> Have to eat it sideways. So so like, yeah. Be like, fuck us. I'm getting a hot dog. <laughs> yeah, like you're stressed out. I need a dog. Yeah. <laughs> I need that dog in me. <laughs> Oh fuck! You have to sneak your own dogs about. You look like you're an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> Would you for be able to bring the hot sauce of them to eat establishments? If you could be hold, like yeah, fair, fair play, yeah, fair play. We went out for pizza last night. Me, Sam, and Christina and Kerry. And Christina was like, "Oh, I was going to bring my own sar- sriracha," but I forgot. Okay, I think that's pretty mad. No, it's all right. Not everywhere has sriracha. Can I just ask for it? Not everywhere has sriracha. <laughs> Fair enough. Go into the sandwich co and Oma and ask them for sriracha. I'd be like, what? They they would have that. Okay. They chili, would have that. Jelly sauce. They would have that. <laughs> so it's just one of them things. You, if, you're, if you're really that into it and you can't eat anything without it, bring it with you. Yeah, and just bring it away. Although sriracha is quite, you know, it's quite mainstream now, but you know, like Diona, did she not say she walks around with fucking... Uh, Ketchup. Ketchup, like she's goddamn Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Hillary Clinton did that? Well, she, she's a hot sauce gal. Is she? Yeah, but she's a reptilian, so it's probably the only thing. I might start walking a bit with a thing of garlic mayo. <laughs> Just ready to rock anything. A BYO carry, mate. <laughs> garlic mayo or taco? Because I'm out of the sauce. <laughs> Exquisite taste. I don't know if I'd need to be carrying sauce around with it. Nah. nah, that's the last thing we need to have <laughs> sauce on us. If there'd, we, be, there'd be so many, you know, you know, like we secret videos of you in like an establishment. Oh yeah, just being like, look at these fucking heaps of shit bringing their own sauce. You whipping the garlic mayo out of the rucksack, yeah. you know, it'd be a nightmare. Oh. Sorry if you're like a wee girl doing it, like, but if you're a big fucking me, hold does it? What does he bring? Peronese. No, he doesn't. In the pelly case, yeah. No, he, <laughs> no, he doesn't. He does he's got it's all full of wires and cables and. Oh, to be fair, like if he's getting catered food, yeah, you probably would need something. Yeah, if if you're doing events where they're just giving you the, the slop. Yeah, he's got the perinels and the belly kiss. <laughs> yeah, it was a f- action Bronson leg again there. Perinels in the belly case. <laughs> <laughs> My onions tobacco. <laughs> Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this before we. Uh, Get out of here. Are you around on the 27th of March? 27th of March, I believe so. It's r- right before we go on that wee Irish tour. Mm-hmm. Do you want to go down and be on that, uh, what do you call it? What's it called? Ireland AM or something? Virgin Media? Do you want me, will me and, me and Aaron do telly? I tell you what. Tell I tell you what. Do you want to do telly, young lad? <laughs> I tell you what. Right. We should. Yeah. Right. But we go full soprano. Okay. Like, I mean, I'll go on Ireland AM, full velour tracksuit. Yeah. You go on Ireland AM, short sleeve shirt, black, chain underneath if I'll, you can. I'll grow, my, I'll grow my side hair out. Please. <laughs> please, can we do that? Yeah. Please. Yeah. Yeah, me, you and Tommy Bo. We'll not, like, we'll not, like, make it obvious. 
Like we'll no, not, you don't address it. At no, the no, no. We'll just come down there looking like that. Yeah, and just yeah, you know, <laughs> that'd be great. Yeah, <laughs> we we small takeaway coffee. Hey Tommy, how you doing? How you doing? Slap the bag of his neck. You a great player. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He done a great service for this country. Some player back in the day. Many of years. This fucking guy, unstoppable. In the you way. can't buy that talent. <laughs> you got right there. You're like, what are you boys doing over here? Wrong <laughs> thing. <laughs> All right, let's go on. That moose knock in 4K? Come oh, on. Oh, yeah. In the daytime, too? <laughs> <laughs> moose knock in the AM? Gillsby squirting. <laughs> All over the land. All over the Emerald Isle, the Gillsby squirting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Virgin? Not anymore. That balloon, not <laughs> you know that that balloon like? knock. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a like a sort of mafia, you know, like derogatory term. Yeah, you fucking full of nuts. Place is fucking full of blue nuts now. <laughs> Tony, oh, the fuck. city went to shit ever since the blue nuts came in. <laughs> <coughs> Dangerously close, uh, Right, we'll get out of here, guys, and you'll see us on tally probably at some point. Yeah, that will require. I was going to Dublin that morning and then on to Limerick and staying for the gig the next night. Aye. Is that right? No rest for the wicked. Nah, mum is Coco Mazelles. <laughs> the Coco Mazelles and the fucking Vlornux. <laughs> I can't stand them. Coco Mazelles and the Vlornux. Album dropping soon. We should give fake names. You should address yourself as Coco Mazelle <laughs> and I'll be Vlornux. <laughs> you just have a fucking chicken parm sandwich yeah if hey, we're gonna do it we, we gotta do that yeah we gotta do that fully take the piss they'll send you the makeup and you'll be like i'm fucking i look good enough <laughs> hey keep this shit off me keep it off my face yeah. i don't even need pussy it's untouched get this away from me right let's do the motherfucking patreon cheers for listening guys uh patreon.com forward slash bomb squad pod for all your 52 extra episodes smoke weed every day see you next week sure good luck <laughs> See ya. Mm. Nice. Nice. Nice.